Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today I will be showing you how can you rename your file easily using the software called FileBot. And we all know that earlier it was free, but now it is a paid software. So you can go to the FileBot's official website. This one. And then buy it from here. So you can purchase a one year license that costs you six dollars and if you purchase a lifetime uh, license with the universal license you can use on any devices it will cost you 48 dollars so after downloading it will open like this all right so it will help you rename your files properly so that when you are putting them into your plex media server or mb media server jellyfin server or any other kind of server it remain organized and it is easily fetched and identified by the server and the metadata is easily fetched so we'll see how does it really now i'll be dragging and dropping these three episodes into the file board now i'll click on match and then tvdb because tvdb has the most extensive library of all the tv shows and it consists of quite a lot of anime also after that it will start loading now it will find out the series try to match it with the tv tv servers and then fetch the episode names also so it has found out that okay so this is the episode one it is pilot then the fuzzy uh, bo uh, fuzzy boots corollary and then the bad fish paradigm so it has found out the names also and you, you can see that it is so clean as compared to this one now we can also make some amendments here so what we need to do is right click and then click on edit format so we have been given a pre-selection of many formats so this is the first format in which the episode name is like this in the second one episode name changes to this In the third one it also shows the air date and then the episode name after that it is just dot one zero one and after that it will also make folders and subfolders so if you select this format then it will make a folder called firefly in this case big bang theory then season one in this case season one for these two and season two for this and then the show name and then the season one episode one and then the episode name. so and if you have already plex installed so you can direct your media folder and it will directly place them into the plex format into your media folder so i'll be selecting this one i will be selecting this one because i don't want separate folders so i will be selecting this one i will be selecting use format and then i can click rename and it will be renamed but before doing that we can what we can do is also fetch metadata along with that so what we need to do is click on settings post process up uh, it will show you many options so first is fetch artwork so it will be fetching the artworks images cover images nfo files these three things are important if you want to use them into mb media server or plex media server so that they do not match a wrong thing so that is why if you want to do this you can do this otherwise you can just uncheck them then export url files is not of uh, our use no, neither this one and never take the import companion files because if you click import companion files and you have specified a folder path what it will do is it will take all the files in that folder and uh, repopulate the other folder also so it will be a mess created and like for example if the file is in your download folders and you click import companion files and you have specified the plex path which we show uh, which we have seen in the rename uh, rename format options then it will uh, basically copy a whole of the download folder and put it into the that plex file uh, plex path so we don't want that so never click on import companion files until unless it is very organized already so you should not click here so only thing that you can do is fetch artwork fetch cover images and export and never files but we don't need that because we are simply renaming them so we'll be click on, clicking on ok and the media servers automatically download these things so we don't want separately and click on rename so as you click on rename the three files have been renamed properly in this way so this is the easiest method 
and fastest method in which you can rename your whole of the series you don't need to rename one by one whole of the series is can uh, multiple episodes can be renamed uh, multiple seasons can be renamed with just one click and you have other options also as i have shown if you want you can also click on fetch artwork cover images etc so next we'll see how to rename movies so i have taken two again generic files and named them dark knight rises and dark knight so again i will dragging and dropping them here same process click on match for movies we have two server options we will be choosing the movie db again it is loading so it will be trying to fetch the related movies with this one the file name so basically file name is the key to for the correct match so it says okay dark knight the dark knight i'll be selecting yes and now again it has shown me that it will be saving them to desktop in this folder in this folder but i don't want folders so i will be clicking right clicking edit format and i'll select uh, this is episode format now i'll go to movie format in the movie format i'll be choosing the first format so it will be just renaming and add the year at the end i can also use this format in this the director name will also be added or this format in which a folder will also be made but i don't want folders otherwise what will happen is that like in this portion it is showing that it will make a separate folder called dark knight rises 2012 on the desktop and then move that this file into that folder but i don't want that i want them in this folder only and then the next option is it will create a subfolder called action because it is the action movie then the movie name then the year then the pg ratings and so on so i don't want this also and lastly if you have plex media server you can click on the plex option so what i want to do is i will be using the first option or let's see we can use the second option so we will be getting the movie name year and the director name we'll click on use format and you can see now that it shows it is the dark knight rises 2008 christopher nolan and also the quality 720p 6h or 1080p 6h so you will also get the video quality and the audio quality if available because these are generic files so this has this may be having six channel audio but this is, does not have any audio it is not showing the audio code so now again i'll be clicking on rename so the files have been renamed so again in this case also we do get the option so let's see if we want to rename them again and we don't like this format so what we'll do is we'll change the format and check the first format only we want only this thing we don't want the director's name and quality video quality audio quality and so on we want this only but we want metadata as well so we will click on these settings post process and click on fetch artwork and fetch cover images i'll click on ok and then click on rename now it says two files are renamed and six files are added so let's see so the fan art folder and posters have been added for the movies and here we can see the clear art disk images and logos are also added and the two files have been renamed so this is how it works so i hope that uh, uh, your doubts regarding the file bot uh, are clear and you know how to rename your movies and tv shows efficiently especially if you want to populate them into a flex media server or mb media server or jellyfin server and secondly you have also come to know the option for fetching the metadata as well so if you want you can fetch the metadata as well but it is not recommended because uh, whatever media server you will be using they will be fetching the metadata for you right so there is no point of uh, doing it here separately because it can create problems like in this case also if you will see that it has fetched the metadata for dark knight but not the dark knight rises so we can see this this folder and the poster both are of dark knight here our disk and logo is also of dark knight only not of dark knight rises whereas we have clicked that option for both of the movies so uh, in one folder it will be choosing only one file so it can create problems and otherwise also it will replace files so until and unless you have them in different folders it won't show for example now i have using the same process as save them on the desktop so when i have saved them on the desktop it will be showing dark knight as this so dark knight poster movie nfo files logo folder fan art disk clear art and dark knight rises as this so dark knight rises poster movie logo folder fan art disk and clear art. so until and unless you save them into different folders from here 
until unless you choose this option of separate folders and then file name and then you click on uh, the fetching metadata it will uh, it will not be very effective and in this case like we, we didn't make separate folder so it fetched only one metadata uh, one uh, movies metadata so this is how we can rename the uh, tv shows and uh, movies so with this we have come to the end of the tutorial i hope you find this tutorial helpful uh, and it is a must watch before you buy filebot because it is quite an expensive software uh, as compared to the functionality it is providing because uh, tv renaming is free like in many of the software so you can use many alternatives to rename tv shows although there are not much of uh, renaming the movies so if you have any free options you can comment down uh, in the comment section below so this was it for this video and if you find this tutorial helpful consider buying your coffee from the link in the description thank you for watching this video have a nice day